Namaskar. Welcome to Prahanga COVID-19 series. The tourism industry has been completely paralyzed due to the pandemic. And the Northeast region, this effect is even more severe because of the seasonal nature of the tourism here. And uh, the off season has already begun. Strong measures have to be taken for the revival and survival of tourism in the region. It gives me immense pleasure to welcome Mr. S.S. Dev Verman, Regional Director, Northeast, Ministry of Tourism. Welcome, sir. Thank you. Sir, to begin with, what are the plans that the Ministry of Tourism has been taken for the revival of tourism in the region? See, uh, a number of uh, uh, discussion are now taking place in the Ministry and uh, uh, through uh, online uh, we have been interacting with the headquarters headquarters uh, all the uh, our uh, big officers are actually also uh, uh, coming out with a lot of plans uh, programs a series of discussion is going on actually for uh, revival of the industries you know uh, there are actually two type of things you know there are things uh, which are routine work. Routine work uh, has not hampered much. Only for three months, maybe it was uh, stopped. But it's still going on. Routine work is still going on. At the same time, for revival of the industries, a series of meetings are now taking place with the all local state government on regular basis. At the same time, a number of measures are also being taken, you know, which will be uh, effective in future. We trust you must be doing a lot for tourism. Absolutely. And uh, during the lockdown, sir, what were the measures the regional office took here? See, uh, because as you know that uh, uh, MOT has actually devised uh, the entire uh, the, the country in a five zone. So I am in charge of the uh, northeast. Uh, uh, I mean, uh, every zone has its own uh, difficulties has its own uh, problems. Accordingly, one will have to devise the plans, program, etc. everything. In my zone, I uh, had to do something innovatively because initially, uh, during the time of lockdown, there is a lot of confusion, uh, a lot of uh, the problems, and common people suffered a lot. Absolutely. And um, everything was closed. Uh, Really, there is a lot of confusion. Very so. much, very much. So, uh, uh, my main uh, objective was uh, to be with the common people. Uh, how to do it then? Mm -hmm. uh, how to uh, instill the confidence in the mind that uh, incredible India is still beside the common people? Then, um, we had to innovate some plans uh, in accordance with the demand of the situ situation. We ordered a mask, mask and um, the female tailors. You know, we have given the tasks to female tailors to make the mask. The mask was actually the country gamosa. Yes, that and is so the encouraging. And the country gamosa is uh, very f uh, made of very fine fabric. Yes, yes. So uh, we told them to make the mask with the two folds. Hmm. So uh, it was very fine quality of the mask. You know. And you've oh. used uh, the local Assamese fabric here. Uh, local Assamese fabric mm. and uh, with the incredible India logo. So through this, we would have been, um, uh, uh, through this, uh, uh, it was uh, feasible to give uh, some scope of income to our uh, Ma Bahen. Yes. Uh, mm -hmm. It was a good source of income for it them. It must have been a great encouragement to the community. At, at because the initial stage, there was a lot of uh, uh, distress a lot of uh, hardships you know for Absolutely. getting the regular rationings Absolutely. So th through this uh, means uh, they could have earned some money right then afterwards uh, we got uh, umbrella hand sanitizers globes and masks those mm -hmm. are all with the our incredible india logo okay then uh, with this uh, staff we came down on the road we distributed the those the things to safai karmi uh, traffic police, guards, uh, Thelewala, uh, then uh, rickshaw pullers, uh, then um, uh, auto drivers, those who are involved very much in the essential service, plus the journalists. So they are very happy because initial stage, 
those stuff especially masks there is a high demand in guwahati metro cities people are actually not able to find or were not actually able to find uh, uh, finding the mask yes there and they were so that crisis. is huge uh, rates also ha hmm. so that was a kind of a process uh, through which we could have actually uh, uh, felt our presence among the common people and at the same time uh, we could have promoted uh, the importance of incredible india that is incredible indeed sir right uh, for the revival we are hoping that northeast is really going to see a boom very soon so what are your thoughts on that i am very very optimistic because um, there is a saying in english that uh, you will have to you can make a disadvantage to your advantage absolutely another thing is that you know northeast i think that uh, post covid 19 situations will have a plethora of opportunities absolutely because those kind of tourism for the next um, one or two years uh, maybe not in practice anymore because due to uh, the pandemic which is uh, being afflicted throughout the world you know so uh, uh, th those popular tourist destinations where people are going in a throng in a huge crowd with a lot of uh, uh, family members friends acquaintances etc maybe for uh, another one or two years not possible you know like mm -hmm. a, a very popular destinations you know uh, so keeping the proper physical and social distance mm -hmm. those kind of tourism aspects of products will have to be explored which will actually uh, keep you safe tourism and covid has to work hand in hand i want to say that um, post covid 19 scenario mm -hmm. will be the better for our uh, to uh, uh, promoting tourism in northeast india mm -hmm. because the products of northeast india is such which actually uh, uh, which is an ideal for uh, promoting with maintaining proper social distance because uh, what we have here we are having the tea tourism monsoon tourism then uh, uh, rural tourism then wellness tourism wildlife tourism all these kind of tourism are actually uh, i mean ideal tourism for uh, uh, post covid 19 situations right. and uh, trekking absolutely those uh, tourism uh, supposed not to be enjoyed with a lot of uh, horde of people you know. mm. right so you can actually proper social distance maintain mm -hmm. and you can enjoy that uh, like trekking in a right. wild uh, path mm -hmm. and people also will have a kind of opportunity to distress you know people are now these days are tense and they are uh, i mean mentally and physically exhausted absolutely due to the continuous lockdown mm -hmm. and con uh, and then due to the fear of the covid-19 mm -hmm. so nature is the great stress buster absolutely. once we go to the in the middle of the green serenity then you will be losing gradually that kind of distress from your heart you know you will be so relaxed so free i so already have it in my mind in now you <laughs> know northeast is an ideal place for that kind of tourism right sir so actually covid-19 has taught us we have to go back to nature and northeast india is this uh, you know paradise unexplored paradise a natural paradise can you share some experiences that you have been a part of see the things that you know i mean the, our people i i am talking in term of original inhabitant mm -hmm. uh, of this uh, region you know their river they regard no, uh, the nature so much you know yes you see when you look at the uh, aspects of our uh, folklore mm. folk culture folk song everything related to nature and forest you know absolutely so i mean so uh, they know actually how to actually uh, respect the nature absolutely but if you keep on starting destroying uh, uh, the forest if you start uh, 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 destroying the balance it will have a kind of adverse effect absolutely you. absolutely development is much needed mm -hmm. but not uh, uh, at the cost of the destruction of forest yeah. not at the cost of the destruction of the uh, uh, 
culture the local people you know correct so basically ecotourism and modernization has to be balanced and walk hand in hand absolutely no other option sir covid 19 has taught this kind of things to us that's true that's true if you rampant randomly killing the wild animals destroy the forest uh, disturb the life of the original inhabitants you know it will have certainly i mean uh, you have to be very very careful you know i mean still there are so many viruses are uh, undiscovered viruses are there in the forest among the wildlife uh, i mean uh, if you keep on destroying this uh, balance you know that they will come uh, uh, human beings will be completely wiped out from the earth but uh, we why we, we are not learning uh, the basic aspects of the life uh, from the local people mm -hmm. so called tribal people yes they are the most benevolent and the uh, wisdom people on the earth they are so welcoming to tourists they are so warm people and even having a meal with them is is a life changing experience perhaps absolutely mm. absolutely absolutely no right. doubt about it right sir and uh, also along with nature adventure tourism is another aspect and basically it has got a huge potential in northeast and there'll be the millennials who we hope to be the first lot of travelers who will be more of adventure minded they are expected to be traveling first so what is it what are the act activities that we can do to tap this opportunity to attract these millennials to our region see as i told you so we don't have any dart for uh, that kind of things you know uh, th that kind of products mm -hmm. we have a cap tourism we have a uh, river rafting tourism then wildlife tourism mm -hmm. then uh, mm, uh, so many then of uh, uh, so many th so many aspects are you know are unaccountable so you have to very innovatively explore the and that uh, and that things how the things will be shaping up it depends actually your innovative ideas and styles we are he here to help all the uh, state governments plus the people who are actually Uh, in the field uh, for promoting the tourism i i i, I mean uh, uh, tourism stakeholders right so like uh, wildlife tourism when we say yes. so we've got a uh, you know a huge uh, you know flora and fauna here and then the wildlife is so rich so diverse and uh, what are the wildlife destinations that uh, you would recommend like kaziranga national park is famous but besides that there are so many different variety of uh, national parks and different national parks which can be attracted See, uh, once again i would tell you know there is no dearth of uh, 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 flora and fauna especially wildlife is so diverse and mm -hmm. vast in uh, northeast you know we are really really proud of uh, our uh, resources we are really proud of our uh, that uh, uh, the varieties of wildlife in our regions you know. uh, other than lion we, we, yes. we supposed to have everything in the regions you know. yes and uh, uh, for the last 3 uh, months i keep on writing on my own uh, about those uh, places uh, which are actually not uh, much publicized you know there are some popular destinations in northeast uh, but uh, beyond those popular and much publicized destinations uh, there are certain places which are as good as other publicized places yeah. absolutely and the same kind of things but mm -hmm. but not much publicized like mm -hmm. uh, pobitara right i like pobitara very much you know. mm -hmm. pobitara um, didn't get uh, or has not got uh, that kind of uh, popularity like uh, uh, kaziranga right but a uh, lot of people might not be knowing rhino sighting is almost confirmed in a place like pobitara yes it's got the highest concentration of rhinos in the world absolutely not and, and the bird watching sights also very very attractive over there then but there are certain kind of unique things seen our northeast also Uh, I believe that nowhere in the uh, globe you will have the uh, bat park. Yes. Now the, there is a bat park in uh, uh, Tripura, South Tripura. Right. Uh, there is a place called Bagma. In that uh, play, uh, uh, place, 
Tripura State Government, along with the Tourism Department, they made a bat park over there. Interesting. And you know, <laughs> the bat now becomes a much a misunderstood uh, <laughs> mammals. Yes. Due to the COVID-19, uh, uh, there is a um, uh, there was an assumptions that uh, due to the bat, the coronavirus uh, uh, inherited uh, or uh, people got the transmission from the bat. But uh, of late, uh, this uh, assumption so has been also neutralized, you know. I mean, bat is not actually responsible. There are a lot of uh, scientists uh, are now saying. Having said that, what I want to say is that bat is very, very essential for our food chain in mm. the uh, world, you know. Absolutely. Had bat not been there, it would have been difficult for us to actually have the food grain Absolutely. because there are 500 trees, very useful trees for human beings, are being pollinated, pollinated by bat. And there are other things also. Bat is a uh, very, very useful uh, uh, for uh, uh, that uh, uh, animals uh, which actually work as a pesticide in yes. the paddy field. Absolutely. And bat, uh, one bat can eat up 600 mosquito in one hour. Oh. Those kind of things actually people don't know. We don't know, even I didn't know it. But um, I believe that uh, uh, so-called one thing I'm telling the tribal people, uh, they know all these things. You know. They are much aware of. They are, they are much more, uh, what I want to say, that uh, nature oriented mm -hmm. and uh, they are much more uh, um, qualified than us. They are the uh, scientists who do not actually Absolutely. get the degree. They know everything, you know, that even don't require <laughs> to uh, <laughs> watch the, uh, 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 that uh, you reach to watch. Mm -hmm. Without uh, watching the reach to they can say that uh, what is the time now. Yes. So they are so much related and involved with the nature. Absolutely. We should learn from them. Absolutely. So what I want to reiterate over here is that let's respect the nature. Absolutely. Go back to the nature. Mm -hmm. Be in the lap of the nature. Mm -hmm. It will be useful, beneficial for us. And notice once again, I want to tell you, it's an ideal place for this kind of things. Absolutely. Like even the Loktak Lake of uh, Manipur, such an amazing phenomena. Absolutely. Uh, it's, Absolutely. It's the world's only floating national park floating as well. National parks, yes. So. These are areas that can be uh, attracted, uh, you know, these are the Unique, areas. Uh, the dancing deer, etc. Yes. Nowhere in the world you Nowhere will see these kind of things. And then um, this uh, kind of uh, Dipur Bill. Dipur Bill, yes. And uh, Rudra Shagar in Tripura. Absolutely. So we have a lot of uh, resources. Mm -hmm. These are actually our assets, you know. So we should keep them, we should uh, preserve them. Once those uh, uh, things are gone, it will be difficult to right. retrieve. Absolutely. So actually, Northeast has to be in such a way that we are promoting what we are, not something covered up in another layer, but we are just promoting what we are, and there we have as a I told wonderful you, platter. As I, told you, I am very, very enthusiastic that post-COVID-19 will be the best opportunity to promote the tourism. That is Northeast really... Too. That is I really think encouraging. That you got my point yes, I yes, yes. Right. So that would be a really wonderful, you know, to have, uh, uh, you know, people coming into Northeast. So I'm sure uh, Ministry of Tourism will definitely take up some promotional activities as well, aggressive marketing. So already those things are go going on through webinar, and uh, as I told you, uh, officially also I have been contributing a lot of uh, uh, articles. Mm -hmm. uh, I have had, I have already written on Pobitara. I have written on uh, uh, Moflang Forest, Sex mm -hmm. Forest. Mm -hmm. I have written on that uh, park in Tripura. Mm -hmm. I, said, I have been trying the level best. Uh, and at the same time, Ministry of Tourism also trying to promote uh, this uh, particular region uh, through webinar and right. uh, through various uh, platforms. Right. Right. That That is an encouraging also. Maybe roadshows as well. Road that can be uh, done. Uh, uh, Right now, may not be possible. In future, certainly we will be doing it mm. because uh, due to the COVID-19, uh, uh, things mm -hmm. are a little bit now different. It, it could be a digital platform it has to be used more. The thing is, <laughs> the interesting thing, 
today tomorrow the digital supposed to be you know uh, covid 19 only just the situation covid 19 just it pushed it mm -hmm. they got the momentum only right that's that's true i mean uh, uh, you know promoting our region promoting the uh, small small areas of these region which is so rich is very very important uh, uh, you know uh, many colleges in assam also are offering some courses in tourism but looking at the situation in the last 3 uh, 4 months students are being more apprehensive about their future so uh, what would you like to tell them you know how would you like to encourage them about the future of tourism in no. assam no, i don't deny the uh, right now the situation is really very uh, grim uh, but um, we supposed to be optimistic you know? mm -hmm. these are only for the time being you know? mm -hmm. uh, i keep on uh, saying once uh, again and again just uh, this a uh, temporary phenomena those uh, this phase will be over mm -hmm. afterwards uh, once again it will limping back to the normal right and um the post covid 19 scenario will be the best for northeast then uh, everybody will have to work together in mm -hmm. unison yes yes for promoting the regions mm -hmm. so i want to tell everybody not to be so frustrated not to mm -hmm. be get so much disappointed mm -hmm. let's hope for the best right and let's work unitedly mm -hmm. innovatively right so the stakeholders also have a role to play here and uh, the stakeholders would be looking up to the ministry with a lot of hope see the uh, government uh, we, we are here to only facilitate mm -hmm. our role is basically facilitator nothing more than that mm. it is it depends on the st stakeholder uh, people who are actually uh, bring it in a more in a higher pedestal right so uh, so stakeholders can approach you very freely <laughs> <laughs> i am always free <laughs> i mean they can approach you the absolutely you know, i think that uh, with uh, uh, concepts uh, uh, and with promotional uh, see, ideas the, uh, our our duty and responsibility to mm -hmm. mix up the people you know yes. i mean to 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 be always with them so mm -hmm. this is the reason you know during the time of the uh, initial stage of lockdown so mm -hmm. we came down on the street as right. i told you right so because at the moment the morale of the stakeholders are really low because you can understand here are uh, northeast the season uh, you know starts from november goes on to april and uh, we've been seeing an off season fear of off season during the season and when we are looking for tourism to open off season is here so you know the stakeholders are really looking at you with a lot of hopes and expectations see yeah uh, i think that um, a lot of what will have to be done mm -hmm. and a um, lot of initiative will also have to be done uh, we are very much here mm -hmm. but we need also the strong as you need the support from us we also need the support from all of you sure enough uh, support in term of uh, uh, that uh, not only from the uh, but the stakeholders who are related to tourism mm -hmm. i believe the tourism has actually encompasses and encompasses everything over here absolutely uh, media mm -hmm. stakeholders uh, local administrations everybody we need to come together so. and um, i believe that uh, from the stakeholders a proposal can be sent uh, to uh, the headquarter via this india tourism regional office mm -hmm. uh, then in coming days ltc should be continued absolutely and the uh, 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 people of the mail in india mm -hmm. should be encouraged to come over here with a uh, say i mean the huge uh, uh, benefit of ltc absolutely absolutely and uh, some kind of modus operandi will have to be uh find out uh, so that the central government officers and employees uh it becomes a sort of i don't say mandatory a sort of things to explore northeast kind yes. of slogan absolutely so, so uh, the the uh, this kind of uh, proposal may be initiated by mm -hmm. a local uh, stakeholder mm -hmm. tourism uh, people at the same times uh we actually can help to give it a momentum to the 
headquarters. That's that's really encouraging from you. We would ha like to have a lot of questions, but uh, we are running short of time. So hope to see you very soon once again in some of our future series. Thank you so much, sir, for your Thank time. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Thank you, viewers, for being with us today. It was, I hope this uh, episode has been an eye-opener as well. And uh, see you soon in our next ep episode of Prahongo COVID-19. Namaskar.